It's a, it's a little mini sermon. <laughs> no, that's okay. Keeping me honest. Okay. But anyway, I went into one church, and I knew churches were having a hard time. But they basically became a community church. And when I went to that church, I was shocked. It was formed in 1873, not very far from here. I walked in. The cross that had been there since 1873 was taken down. The pulpit was removed. The lectern was removed. The communion table was removed. And as I went in there, they sat around with little chairs and a little table with two candles on it. And they said, you know, I got talking to the people. Because it's a community church, the windows might be offensive. So I'm probably going to take out our stained glass windows and replace them. And I walked out of there and I thought, my goodness, this was a church at one time that had the most experienced and God-filled pastors in this church. What is going on? What is happening? Not, you know, I'm not trying to be critical. Okay. They had to make that move. And but the thing that really hit me was. One of the former pastors was asked to come back and do a baptism. Guess who we had to get approval to do the baptism in that church since 1873? From the board of the community center. Can you believe that? I had to go there and write for permission. A church that he pastored at for years had to have permission to come back in and do a baptism in that church through the community center because it might be offensive. <laughs> Folks, we got to get on track for the renewal of the church. We need to reach out there. When we get into Matthew 9, that's going to be a little longer sermon than what I'm doing right now. But that's okay. But the renewal of the church, that's what we need to be about. Renewal of ourselves. Renewal of ourselves. Well, that kind of filled in for the ministry of music, to be honest with you. <laughs> I saw that and said, we don't have ministry of music right now. But I did see that renewal of the church this past week. And I thought, for the ministry of music, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Believe me, I'm not trying to be critical. But isn't that a shame, what's going on, even in a Christian church? Well... We don't want that to happen here, and it's not going to happen here because we are going to preach Jesus and we're going to preach renewal in our lives. Well, let's have a scripture lesson and then I'll really give you a sermon. Okay? Our scripture this morning is Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. Uh, it can be found on pages 8 and 9 of the Pew Bible. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up, and he followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, those who are well have no need of a, of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Rob. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gospel message of chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. And as we study your word this morning, may the Holy